Good mythical morning. And please welcome Sasha Banks. Hey. Welcome to the show. We got a WWE superstar in the building, Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks, welcome back to this black curtain box. Yay, I'm ready. I'm so ready for this pocket chat. Her cousin Snoop Dogg. <laughs> yeah. So you're just like royalty. My debut in Hollywood, and I got to save <laughs> Baby Yoda, and I'm in Star Wars. You have John Cena, you have The Rock. Where's the, where's that woman's name next to it? Are you gonna break out and become that superstar of the world? Yes, I am. Let's go. Yes, I am. And that's how you do it, like a boss. Sasha Banks has secretly transcended into a Hollywood star over the last few years. It started with appearances on Wild and Out and Hot Ones, and then it eventually turned into a role in Star Wars' Mandalorian. She doesn't seem to want to stop the momentum anytime soon. The lady wants to take over the world. Sasha Banks is truly becoming the next version of John Cena and The Rock. This isn't much of a surprise for anyone who's been following her career since her WWE debut. Banks has always been the number one draw for the women's division. I took the liberty of looking at the Google Trends of the four horsewomen because they've been the pillars for the women since 2016. And in the past five years, whether it's web or YouTube search, Sasha Banks has dominated the group. That also applies to the last 12 months. The data is telling us that Sasha Banks is by far the most popular women's wrestler that came from the WWE system. With that being said, let's take a look at this graph of the top women and their championship reigns. As you can see, Charlotte Flair is at the top of the mountain at almost 900 days and 13 title runs. We then have Becky Lynch, followed by Bayley, Alexa Bliss, Asuka, and Ronda Rousey and Bianca Belair are at a tie. And I bet you're wondering, where does Sasha Banks fall on this graph? Well, it's right here at the very bottom of this group of women. And this really puts everything into perspective. It shows just how much she's been disrespected her entire career. I don't think you realize it until you see it with your eyes. She should be at the top of this graph, not at the bottom. Her WrestleMania record is also incredibly disappointing. Out of her seven matches, she's only been able to win one. Six losses does not look good for a woman who clearly has the biggest fan base. And it makes you wonder, how in the world did WWE have such a top star that they never properly utilized? Where did it all go wrong? Well, Vince was aware of this the entire time. It was actually a part of his plan all along, and that's when we get to the Hollywood theory. The theory is that McMahon never wanted her to reach her full potential in fear of losing her to Hollywood. So he's been limiting her for the last eight years, not keeping her at the very top nor the very bottom, but right in the middle where she doesn't ever grow too much. You see, Vince McMahon has been here and he's done it before, putting all his eggs into one basket only for that basket to walk away. The Rock and John Cena were huge baskets that got a little taste of Hollywood and never looked back, leaving the WWE dry without a top star. You could say the same thing was happening again with Sasha Banks and that's why Vince McMahon intentionally held her back. The empirical evidence has always been there right before our very eyes. For starters, Sasha Banks is the most popular woman on the roster. Despite that fact, she doesn't have too many accolades or accomplishments to show for it. With the exception of one title reign that lasted 133 days, she struggled to hold a championship for more than a month. Sasha Banks also failed to win a Royal Rumble match or ever retrieve the Money in the Bank briefcase. In all of her biggest moments, she was met with shortcomings. For someone with so much star power, I can't see any other reason why Vince McMahon wouldn't put Sasha Banks as the number one woman other than wanting to keep her trapped inside the WWE bubble forever. And so the years of mistreatment caught up to Sasha Banks over time. Put yourself in her shoes. You've got all the potential in the world, and yet you don't ever see yourself climbing the ladder of success. Whenever you take one step forward, you always seem to take three steps back. 
In 2019, you gotta watch your colleagues become the first women to ever main event a WrestleMania, a dream of yours since you were a little kid. At that very show, you lose your championship to a team that should have no business beating you. This is when you begin to see the reality of the situation. You realize that you've been disrespected for far too long. The cracks begin to form, so you try walking away. But Vince McMahon doesn't let you. He tells you to take some time off and come back when you've cooled off, feeding you empty promises of a better tomorrow. You come back, but those promises aren't fulfilled. You're just the sidekick to your best friend who's having the best championship run of her entire career and it sucks because you love her, but at the same time, you're becoming envious. The jealousy is growing. Eventually, you earn a chance at the title and you become the champion, but that reign doesn't last too long. Then, WWE promises you a WrestleMania match with Charlotte Flair in 2022 and you're scheduled to most likely win the Royal Rumble, but those plans are immediately stripped away from you because Ronda Rousey decides she wants to come back. She is given the Rumble victory instead, and she is given that title match at WrestleMania. Meanwhile, you're thrown into a meaningless women's tag team championship match to keep you somewhat satisfied. You take what you're given and you try to make the best of the situation. The goal is to bring back enough prestige to those titles to make it special. It doesn't matter to your boss though. McMahon couldn't care less about those titles, which means he couldn't care less about you. After eight long years, you finally reach a boiling point and walk away from the thing you love most. So because of what Sasha and Naomi did this past Monday night, they have been suspended indefinitely. And Vince McMahon threw her under the bus while trying to do some damage control. He made her look like the bad guy. Because of it, some fans and even colleagues, maybe friends, turned their back on her and that was disappointing to see. Wrestling is the only thing that I've ever loved and I really feel like wrestling saved my life. I, I put my heart out there. I don't know what to say. I'm just, I'm speechless. The entire situation destroyed the spirit and the soul of Sasha Banks. This woman gave this her all. Every ounce of energy, passion, effort, and love, all of it poured into this business just for it to never love her back. And in a time where she needed support from people around her most, she didn't get it. Backstage colleagues and coworkers had zero sympathy for Sasha Banks calling her a diva. Some WWE fans turned their backs on her saying she's nothing more than just a quitter. But I don't think these people can truly understand what Sasha Banks went through. This wasn't a single moment in time where she snapped and overreacted. It was eight years in the making. Constant disrespect and mistreatment for nearly a decade will do damage. It was easy for WWE to take advantage of a rookie who didn't know any better. But now, Sasha Banks knew better. She knew that she was worth more. She knew that she had more value to her name and she understood what she brought to the table. And at first, I thought the Hollywood theory was about Vince mistreating her. And while it still is, I think it might actually be deeper than just that. That Sasha Banks had to make a decision, a decision she didn't want to make, which was to choose Hollywood because there was no other option. The only thing she loved didn't love her back and it didn't treat her right and it made her feel like shit. Walking away was very brave and I gained even more respect for her because of it. It's hard for people to leave a toxic situation, but she wasn't afraid to do it. To this day, she still maintains a smile. With Triple H in charge, I hope he brings her back and treats her like the superstar she was born to be.